Hello everyone, my name is Amanda and welcome back to another video of the Planty Mandy. The moment has finally come. We are at the last part of my Hoya collection series. So this is part six, I believe, and I'm gonna um, have the last 13 Hoyas um, in my Hoyas collection to show you guys. And yeah, um, it's a, it's a, it has been a good experience because it's actually helped me to like do a little bit of inventory with my Hoyas and uh, really actually know what I'm having. So uh, yeah, let's get started. So the first Hoya I want to show you is a really easy and common Hoyas. Um, you come in to find, like you can probably find it in your local nursery. Um, but for whatever reason, I can't seem to keep it alive. And this is my third one <laughs> of the same plants. And this is the Hoya Canosa Crimson Queen. So I remember I showed you guys my Crimson Princess before, and that was the one that I have a big one, and then it has always been easy to grow for me but the crimson queen for some reason i just keep killing it and um yeah this is um so after killing like two bigger one i was like you know what <laughs> i'm just gonna um you know go back to a small one and just really like find out what's um what i'm doing wrong so yeah so this is a really beautiful hoya canosa crimson queen so yeah let's see um <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can keep this one alive. And um, and I think I asked you guys before too, if you know any care tips or anything uh, that I can do better with the Crimson Queen, let me know. Because apparently, obviously, like, I, I, I can't keep it alive. I don't know why. Awesome. So let's move on to the second one. So the second one is very similar to the one that and other Hoyas that I went over with you in my other videos. And... That was the Hoya Imperialis. If you watch my, wait, no. Yeah, so if you watch my other video, uh, you see that I have a Hoya Imperialis. And at the beginning, I was really confused um, between these two plants because they look identical. And this is the Hoya Optusifolia. So yeah, if you guys have um, Hoya Imperialis at home, um, you, would, you can see that like this is like, pretty similar but i think if i if my observation is correct um it's look like my imperialis have a little bit longer leaf larger leaves but yeah i'm i'm, I'm not sure but um this is a hoya optisifolia it has a bush like structure like it's grow up white upright instead of like some hoya they are whining or they're like um hanging basket but this one is more like bush like so yeah we like this one i got this from gatino and then you can see this like this Baby leaves, oops, tiny leaves coming out. Really beautiful, um, glossy uh, 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 cuticle. And then you can see like all the side veining on the side. Yeah, I really like this plant. So, yep, this is the Hoya Optusifolia. Awesome. So, next one. <laughs> I have this plant for a long time. It's a small plant. I got it from Gatino Lestra a while back, like a while back. And, um, it hasn't done anything for me. Just like my uh, Wonder the Fora that I told you, I'm a Callisto Hasn't done anything for me for months. And I was getting a little bit frustrated. Um, but, you know, I keep at it. And I eventually move it into my greenhouse. And as spring heats, this guy has shoot out a bunch of new growth for me. So this is the Hoya Mini Bell. So yeah, I really like it. It also has really succulent dark green foliage. I noticed that uh, since I have uh, put it into the greenhouse, it's actually getting darker. So it's really beautiful. So uh, you can see just like most other Hoyas, the new growth, it's kind of oh, it's so hard to focus. There you go. Yeah, the new growth is more like bronzy red color. And then we have a couple over like here as well at the bottom. So yeah, like... Since spring, it just has been shooting out new growth. And um, to be honest, I I haven't done anything to it. I just put it in the greenhouse and I kind of ignored it because I didn't think it was going to do anything. And it grew. So <laughs> that's actually what I noticed on a lot of Hoyas. Like, if you pamper it, 
some of the hoi is not a lot of hoi, but like some of hoi, if you pamper it, it's it won't grow. It, it it will may it may even die, but if you just leave it alone, it will grow. <laughs> so this is one of those. So yeah, really really like this one. I'm really happy that it's finally grow. Um, and you know, just be patient sometimes. All right. So the next one I'm gonna go over. It's also another one that I have for a while. And again, it didn't do anything for a while. I also got this from Cadeno Lursery. And this is the Hoyer Arifthina. So this one has really beautiful like sleep slice like leaves. You can see like it's a little bit in regular shape. It's uh, asymmetrical. And then this like really prominent like, you know, winging in the middle. And this is a newer leaf as you can see. And it's uh, still like converting or like fading into the green color from the bouncy color when it's first come out so yeah when i first got this plant it's only have like three leaves and then um and then it's slowly uh growing out like three more leaves for me so yeah it's really beautiful so this is the hoya arifthin arifthina uh for sorry <laughs> it's the hoya arifthina Arif arifthina I'll put the name at the bottom, so. <laughs> anyway, yeah, really cute, really glossy, beautiful species. Yay. Cool. So next one I want to show you, it's, um, I, I haven't got this for so long. I don't think this is a common Hoyas at all. Um, I also got this from Gardino Lursery, and I do not know how to pronounce the name, just so you guys know in advance. And this is it. Ta-da! So, are right, you ready? This is the Hoya Juan Juan Guana Juan Juan Guana. So yeah, I, I'll put the name at the bottom. Yeah, um, I got this a uh, uh, a few months ago, and then it just had this really like dark green succulent leaves, like really succulent leaves. If it's really hard, it feel like cardboard literally. And yeah, it hasn't been doing anything. And then, you know, and then I slowly notice a slightly too light vein is start to come out. So yeah, I, I have some hopes. Oh, actually there's another grow pond. So yeah, there's actually like two grow pond. There's like one right here and this one like right here. There we go. So yeah, um, in my experience, like, um again like correct me if if i'm wrong or if your experience is different but at least in my home environment i noticed that um the hoyas that have thicker leaves or larger leaves normally grow slower so if i have to guess i will think that is because you know if you have like a thicker leaf or larger leaf it, it will take more time or more energy for the for the plant to make that leaf right in in comparison to some like thinner uh uh, more smaller species uh, so that may take a little bit shorter time or less energy for the plant to make so it, it makes sense so I just I'm gonna be patient so yep so next we're gonna go for oh I like this one so this is my Hoya Macrophella um, by, by Bua I think so yeah I think this is like a variety so cultivar I, I have no, I think it's a variety of the Hoya Macrophella. So I show you guys a Hoya Macrophella in my very garter in my other video. So that one is the one that have like the white margin and the pink like edge, really beautiful. And this one, it's mostly green. And then it has this like light lime, limey color um, as the variegation, which is really beautiful. So yeah, so I got this plant also <laughs> from Gardino Nursery, like all the plants are from Gardino Nursery. So I got this plant from Gardino Nursery and then um, when it first got here, I, I'm telling you like this two leaves are like soft. It's like completely dehydrated, like soft. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I, I leave it alone. I give it a good drink of water and I just put it in the greenhouse and ta-da! Now it's become a healthy, beautiful leaf. So yeah, so sometimes when you Get the plants in the mail like it may look a little bit dehydrated the leaf the leaves may feel a little bit thin uh as long as the leaf is still healthy ish um i would give it a chance like for it to like rest up and acclimate before i decide that okay it's not gonna work i'm gonna cut it off so yeah just leave it leave it alone for a little bit it will it will recover 
And the exciting about this plant too is it start growing out new leaves right there. And then I all this I um see so if I can show it better. Yeah, all this I little nub, it's coming out. It wasn't there when I first got the plant. So I'm really excited about that as well. So yep, this is the Hoya Mercafella by Bua. Cool. Okay, Wallex. Um so if you if you saw did I do that? Yes, if you saw my Thailand unboxing video, you'll know that I got a Wikita from Thailand, but <laughs> it was a big size Wikita. Um but then I all the leaves um <laughs> were dead when it got here, except for two. So I cut off the two leaves and then I uh root it up. So one of them I actually sold it already and the other one I kept it for myself and ta-da! This is a humongous leaves. I think this if I think I measure it, it's about like eight or nine inches. So like look, it's a lot. Actually, it's pretty it's a lot bigger than my palm actually if you look at it. So I'll show you. It's crazy. And it just, I, <laughs> it just one single leaves, right? So you imagine if that plant would have survived, like it would be a pretty substantial plant. But yeah, it didn't, but it's okay. Um, I got a cutting of it and it's rooted up nicely for me. So yeah, so if you guys are, you know, buy plants and especially from overseas, if it's coming, it's like, not looking so good, not looking so hot, or the, the roots are dead, um, don't lose hope. Uh, just try to savage as many healthy cutting as possible and then you can wood it up pretty easily. Um, I'm gonna do an uh, other video separately for like maybe Hoya propagation um, or just like how do we have plants uh, when you you know got it from overseas and you know it's not looking so hot. So yeah let me know if you guys want me to do that. I'll leave it in comment below. Um, I'm more than uh, happy to do that to just you know share some knowledge with you guys. Awesome. So next we're gonna uh, look at um, Rigida's cousin. I don't know if cousin is an appropriate name, but this is a Hoya F Rigida from Naos. So F means it's affiliate. So it means that it's, it's connected or somewhat related to Rigida, I believe. And um, yeah, and, and obviously it's from Laos, so this plant is like from Laos, right? <laughs> And yeah, you can see like it also uh, it's also have this like woody green succulent leaves, and then the veining is similar to the wigeter. Uh, however, the wigeter I just show you doesn't have any splash on it, but this one does. So you can see it's really beautiful. So this splash, I believe, if you put it in um, bright lights, um, it will turn pink. So it's very similar to the parasitica heart leaf splash. Yeah, so it's really cute, and you can see the difference. So this is the, the humongous leaf Wigita, and this is my other Wigita from Laos. So you can see like the, the difference is like, like this is like half the size. Actually, let's see. Yeah, this is like half the size of these leaves. Like, actually, yeah, it's pretty, pretty different, right? So yeah, but um, yeah, I believe they're two different species, and again, like, Wigita itself, I, I think, have a lot of different um, varieties too, so, yep, regardless, they're pretty. So next, I want to show you um, a variegated plant. Hold on one second. And this is the Hoya Katiana variegata. So it's a variegated Hoya Katiana. As you can see, have this really beautiful, like, yellow and pinkish leaves. So I think when it first came out, the leaf first came out, it's like a little bit more like pink. And then it will eventually, based, and then based on the lighting you give it, like how strong of the lights you give it, um, it will either like, it will fade into this like yellow or green color. And the more light you give it, I believe um, the more prominence this like purple outline is. So yeah, so this guy uh, is living in my greenhouse, so with grow lights on top of it. 
So yeah, it's it has been going really well. It has been giving out a lot of new leaves, and yeah, I really like it. So yeah, this is the Hoya Cantiana Verigata. So now, do not ask me how do I know this is Cantiana, but not YTI. I'll tell you that I know it because. I was sold. I was, it was sold to me as Candyana. So when I, I remember when I first started collecting Hoya, I got really confused with Candyana and Yeti. And like almost a year into collecting Hoya, I still, I, I don't know if they're the same plant, the different plant. There's like so many different informations on the internet. Um, I'm confused. So yeah, but you know, they, they, are, they, they, it's, it's pretty. So it, it. I would just call it for Cantiana for now because that's how it was sold to me. So, yep, nice plan. All right, let's y'all. I am going to show you this one. So, if you guys see my uh, saw my video, my eBay unboxing video, you'll know this guy. So, this is my Hoya chicken foam. Hoya chicken foam. Yeah, so I got this from um, Ming, Ming Win on uh, eBay. I literally just got it, so I don't have a lot of knowledge to it. But I did reach out to Ming and he was really nice, he was really sweet. He told me that, oh yeah, it's not too hard to care for, um, they are more like Finisonii. So give it more humidity and yeah, if you give it more sun, obviously, or more light, it will turn red. And I just really love this like, red color. So now. I don't know why this called chicken farm. I try to do some research on it because it's just a funny name, like chicken farm. Like, you know, like what kind of name is it? And um, some people say it's because it was discovered next to a chicken farm. But I'm like, okay, like that doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, but if you ask me, because I saw the picture of uh, the inflorescence of this plant, and I'll put it somewhere on the on the screen if I remembered. Um, but yeah, like the the, the flower is like this like yellow, red, orange ish color. So it's actually remind me of chicken, like to be honest. So, um, maybe that's why I don't know. But yeah, regardless, it's a wonderful, beautiful plant. This is my Hoya chicken farm. So by the way, remember like. On the in the eBay video, I said that when I got it, it's like the leaf was like super soft and tender. So I got it, and then I I um you know I I soak it. I do bottom watering for this plant, um because it feel like the soil was pretty dry. And you know how sometimes when your soil is like super dry, when you water it, the soil won't absorb anything at all. So I actually did do bottom watering for this one, and ta da. Uh, the leaves feel a lot more sturdy now, so I'm happy. I think it's slowly recovering. It's still outside of my greenhouse because I want to like more like slowly acclimate it instead of just like stick up stick to it into like a super high humidity and like a super warm like uh, environment. So yeah, we'll see what happens. So really excited about this plant. Tea chicken farm. Oh, and I already said in the eBay. Uh, video I am extra excited about this plant because the first one I ordered from Thailand completely died like it just dead upon arrival <laughs> so I'm really happy I got my hand on another one and in the same video you would have seen my caudata so this is the Hoya caudata like um, I think I already to uh, told you guys a story of like my first Hoya caudata um, same thing, got it from Thailand, uh, not looking so hot, would it up? I feel like I keep repeating this question, maybe I should stop ordering plants from, from, from Thailand, but no, I'm not going to stop that. But anyway, um, I got this from Thailand, like an other plant from Thailand, the wood doesn't look so hot. So again, I cut it up, I root it up, and then I either sow some, and then I either uh, gave away some, and then I have no more, I had no more. And I found this on eBay. Um, as a price that it's that it's okay with me, so I bought it. So you can see this plant is I have woody, hard, almost sandpaper, actually sandpaper texture leaves, and then you can see the edge is also like kind of like rugged. Um, yeah, I really like it. And this is a larger size plant, which is bonus because I can cut it, propagate it, and share it. And I also really enjoy this like, red underside of the leaves as well. So yep, this is my Hoya 
second actually second Hoya Kaudara really beautiful also have this like silver splash on it too really like it cool 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 cool, cool. all right y'all <sighs> all good things has uh come to an end so i have the last two plan i want to show you and this two plan uh they live in a special place which is in a box and the reason for that is because they grow better that way um and that's why i leave it in a box in my propagation box on a heat mat like you know obviously have something to cover it and then um under grow light and inside my greenhouse i know it's like super pampering but it works so the first plant in the box i want to show you is my hoya serpents so this is my hoya serpents it's leaf in the moss moss <laughs> moss long fiber spider moss that it's moist but not soak and it's inside a box with a cover on a heat mat under grow lights <laughs> and finally he started growing for me so yeah i have this i also got this plant from thailand it was fine <laughs> it wasn't that it was fine and you know i put it i i pot it up and then uh but it wasn't really growing for me so i decided that i i want to do something different so i put it into the humidity box and then voila like you know new growth start to come out it was originally the plant was like this big and then it's like grow this whole new thing and then you can see like all the side like, tendril is coming out so yeah i think like it's it's actually looks really good mounting up but for now i'm just gonna leave it in the box because it's like it and hoya serpent it's kind of a high highly sought after plant i believe like maybe maybe not but yeah it's have this really cute little leaf and it have like this uh dimples on the leaf as well so i think that's why um people really like it and i think it's also one of the parents of the hoya material which i show you in the other video which is also a really hot pen right now and yeah i i really like it oh actually look at this leaf look at this it's kind of like a heart shape can you see it oh it's extra cute look it's a oh i just know i just noticed it today oh my god it's so cute oh my god deformed all right last but not least so this pen is not easy to fight at all it's not and i was super lucky that um i won a bid on ebay and it shipped from thailand right before the pandemic and um it's arrived really quickly because i pay extra for shipping because you know it's a life plan and it's a pretty it's an investment let's just put it that way so i want to make sure that it came alive and it does it did and then it actually had one of the most healthy roots i have ever seen from an overseas shipment and this is my Hoya undunada, undulada. <laughs> so you can see like this pen also have woody like, it's similar actually to the caudata. It have woody like hard uh, leaves, but I wouldn't say it's as sandpaper-y, sandpaper-y, sandpaper-y as <laughs> the caudata. But it's also, it have this really beautiful silver splash that when you put under lights, you can see it's kind of turning purple. So yeah, so this is my hoya undunada the name too so yeah and also the reason i leave it in the box is because it's go on my heat mat um so because this plant like heat like this is what i read up on this is what i did research on and talk to like a couple like uh people who also grow this plant they told me that yeah this plant like hot like warm really warm temperature so um which is true because i like, once i put it in that uh warm and farm in the greenhouse which is about 75 degrees uh, Fahrenheit at all time like most of the time it start to like firm up it start to like root up really nicely and become a healthy plant so yep this is what this is the plan that I decided to end my Hoya collection series Ta-da! Hoya Andulata <sighs> so we are done <laughs> We are done with my six part Hoyer's collection series. At the beginning, I thought it would be as small as four part, but I guess we uh, get to six, which is awesome. 
uh, really, 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 really super appreciate you guys like stick with me, watching all these videos, watching me like talk about Hoyas <laughs> like for all six of them. And I know they're not sh the shortest video. It just really make my day when I read your comments and then you said that, wow, I really love your collection. I really love your videos. Like you're expanding my wish list. Like it's make me incredibly happy. So please keep those comments coming. Like I would love to hear your feedback. What do you think? How can I do better to serve you? And if you have any idea what you want to watch next, also feel free to let me know. I am definitely planning to do a Hoyas Care video. I'm planning to do a propagation video um, so you guys can look into my propagation box. It's it's kind of a mess right now, <laughs> but um, I'll organize it, you know, before I show you guys um, so you guys can see how my whole propagation are uh, going. So yeah, um, over the over the eight months that I collecting Hoyas, I, I got pretty good at like wooding them and, you know, putting them in the right environment. So I would love to share that with you guys. And in return, you guys can also share with me. So that way we can all learn and grow together. And as always, if you like this video, make sure you click like. And if you want more future video, make sure you click subscribe. So that way um, I can continue to serve you guys and uh, share more content with you guys. And then that way we can all learn together. And I will see you next time. Bye.